I've been making videos about building with bamboo for the past four years because I love this stuff. I built a little bamboo bungalow. I once had a chicken coop made out of bamboo. I have this bamboo tree house here behind me. I made all sorts of bamboo trellises and furniture and pots and all sorts of things out of bamboo. And I've showed the process on how to build with bamboo from foundations all the way up. Except there's still one video that I need to make. What the different roof systems are that you can use when building out of bamboo. So this video will help round out all those other building with bamboo videos. And if you haven't watched that series yet, I encourage you to check out the playlist above right here as soon as this video is done, because you should get through this one first, right? So today we're gonna check out five roofing systems that you can use when building with bamboo. And if you're interested in getting some hands-on experience building with bamboo, you might wanna stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna have a special opportunity to build with me. I just got back from a trip in Southeast Asia where I visited Japan, Vietnam, and Thailand, all countries with strong histories of building with bamboo. I saw some amazing buildings out there and a lot of cool roof systems, which I hope to share with you today. And from what I noticed, there are five standard roofing systems that people use when building from bamboo. You have your thatched roof, you have your halved bamboo shingles, you have your flattened bamboo, there's terracotta shingles, and then there's galvanized metal. And we're gonna go through each one of those today. But before we move on, it's important to note that the structure of your roof heavily depends on the material you're gonna use to build with. So if you're building a thatch roof, it's gonna look a lot different than if you're building a roof with a metal galvanized roofing material. So be sure that you know that ahead of time before you build any roof system out. Thatch has to be one of the most common ways bamboo buildings across the world are roofed. Thatch material can vary from long grasses, palm fronds, large leaves, and so on. It's beautiful, but it does have its drawbacks. Thatch is very labor intensive to gather and prepare. It takes a certain skill to make it look good, and it tends to leak and breaks down pretty quickly. You're either cash poor or time rich to make a thatch roof, or you have so much money that you don't mind burning some of it. Either way, I've always wanted to build a thatch roof. I'm just a little bit too lazy though. A better way to make a roof for a bamboo house is to use bamboo itself. And one method to use bamboo is by making roof tiles from bamboo. Think terracotta roof, except bamboo. You start by laying out half bamboo facing up to catch the rain and then place the other half upside down, resting in the other bamboo, like shown in the image. You can lay out roofing paper below all this to ensure it's leak free, but a roof like this works pretty well. You could even cut the top layer of bamboo in a way to give it a more artful look. It's really up to you. Now the drawbacks of this roofing system is that it has a shelf life of only five to 10 years. Bamboo, whether you treat it or not, doesn't last very long when it's exposed to constant moisture. It gets dirty and messy and attracts a lot of bugs. And it's really not the best surface to catch rainwater if you plan on drinking it either. But it could be a pretty cool low cost roof when all said and done. Another method for building a roof is using flattened bamboo shingles. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. You take a stalk of bamboo and you flatten it and then you use it just like shingles. Standard practice, lay some roofing paper down. It's pretty standard practice for anyone who's built a roof using shingles. And with flattened bamboo, it's the same thing. Drawbacks, of course, include the fact that it can leak if you don't do it right, and that it has a limited shelf life, just like the other method of using bamboo for roofing. Bamboo just doesn't last super long when exposed to moisture. Now you could up your game a bit and use terracotta roof tiles. I saw a lot of these being used on bamboo structures in Japan and in Thailand but they're not quite the same as perhaps the Mexican terracotta tiles that some of you may be familiar with. These terracotta roof tiles are a bit different. They were flat and they didn't need to be nailed down at all. It was a pretty ingenious system and seemed to work really well with bamboo roofs. I wish they had them in America because I have not seen them out here, but I'm sure you could get them special ordered these days. Pretty much anything is available, right? Anyways, these types of roofs are gonna be ones that last the longest. They may cost more, because you have to purchase them unless you're pretty industrious and know how to work with clay and occasionally they fly off but overall they're pretty great now the last method that people use when building roofs for bamboo structures 
is just using galvanized metal roofing. That's what I pretty much do out here. It's the simplest, fastest method to get a roof over your bamboo structure. Not only is it long lasting, it stays dry, but you could catch rainwater for drinking from. It's pretty much a win-win. It keeps your bamboo dry and helps the bamboo structure last a really long time. I always tell myself that I'm gonna build this roof out of thatch next time or use bamboo shingles, but I never do. The metal wins every time just because the ease of use. But one day, one day, maybe with a workshop, we might build with an alternative material. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about right now. I'm planning to put on an in-person, hands-on workshop in the spring of 2025. Together, we'll learn all about building with bamboo, including using bamboo tools, different types of joinery techniques, roof foundations, roof styles, and more. After this three-day workshop, you should know how to build a bamboo structure of your own. I'll only be opening this workshop to 10 people. So if you want to be part of this workshop, be sure to get your name on the waiting list. I left a link for it down in the description below. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about building with bamboo, I'll make sure that playlist that I mentioned earlier starts playing right about now.